Good afternoon, good evening, buenos dias, bon dia, hujambo, dobre vechor, depending upon where you are in the world. My name is Tom Belekovic, and I'm director of Rural Council's Young Credit Union Professionals Program. Thank you for joining us today for the special celebration of the 20th anniversary of Y Cup. It's been an amazing journey, and we've come a long way since 2001. Back then, the global credit union movement had less than 130 million members. And when we fast forward to WOKU's most recent statistical report, we see membership has doubled to more than 291 million credit union members around the world today. It's great to be together with you and share a little bit of our history. WOKU began, or YCUP began as an international scholarship program to raise the voice of young leaders across the credit union sector. And over the years, it has expanded engagement, professional development globally. Today, we represent a global community of young professionals who recognize the potential for financial cooperatives to positively impact the world. Our celebration today is all about storytelling and recognizing the strength and opportunity that comes from being an active participant in a global movement of financial cooperatives. We think globally, but we act locally. That's just what we do. At the local level, you're working to expand financial inclusion and provide a values-based alternative for your communities. And together, we're having a global impact. Together, we're stronger. And together, we're inspiring hope for a global community. I've asked our global network of YCUP alumni to help me tell our story today. So we'll be taking a bit of a journey around the world as we highlight some of the key YCUP initiatives over the years. Today, we begin in Ontario, Canada where Ben Jansen will share the story of YCUP's roots as a scholarship program and highlight the professional journey that he himself has taken. It's a journey that's been inspired by YCUP and its efforts to connect young professionals with the world of financial cooperatives. Ben is Director of Values Integration at Kindred Credit Union. I love that title. He was a YCUP scholarship recipient in 2013 and has been a member of the YCUP steering committee since its inception. Let's check in now with Ben and hear his story. Hello, credit union people from around the world. It is my pleasure to be with you here today, leading up to International Credit Union Day, where we celebrate the movement and inspire hope for a global community. Of course, today is about celebrating 20 years of Y Cup, and I'm honored to be able to share my story with you. My name is Ben Jansen. I am the Director of Values Integration here at Kindred Credit Union, which is located in Ontario, Canada. That means I am coming to you from the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, and neutral peoples who were stewards of this land long before settlers like myself came. I continue to explore, learn, and work towards reconciliation with our indigenous neighbors in this little corner of North America that they call Turtle Island. I want to share a bit of an image with you that uh, has helped me in my credit union journey. Um, I love growth and something you may know about the Canadian flag is that we have a leaf right in the middle of it. And the leaf and trees and forests are something that I want you to hang on to and hear in my story. When I joined the credit union in 2009 as an employee here at Kindred, uh, I started to work on the issues of peace and justice uh, at the credit union. And those continue to be the same themes that I am working on uh, today. I became pretty passionate about what credit unions could offer our communities, and I put that passion into my work. Fast forward a couple years, and my credit union wanted to recognize that passion and that work by nominating me for the Canadian National Young Leaders Award and scholarship. 
uh, because of that nomination, that meant that I was going to go off to the national conference. And it just so happened that in 2013, that conference was also merged with the World Credit Union Conference. And so I also then applied for the WICUP program. I didn't know a lot about it, but I saw that it was another young leader program and looked like a fun day of connecting and networking and learning about people from around the world. Um, I had an awesome time in that experience. That was in Ottawa, Canada, and um, was really um, humbled to uh, win both a national um, scholarship and um, an international scholarship at that uh, conference. Um, in that presentation, I used the uh, analogy of a tree um, to uh, in try to inspire others and even encouraged the whole audience when I received my award to stand up as if they were trees, to reach up their hands and, uh, and, and then talk about how the global movement is really about a forest um, and a forest that could cover um, the globe and, uh, and be an inspiring place um, for all people to um, participate in, in the financial system. Um, because of that scholarship, I then got to go to Australia, uh, Gold Coast Australia, and um, present and connect with more young leaders there. And that uh, continued to inspire me when I heard people from the Caribbean, from Africa, from uh, Australia and North America and South America and Asia talk about how they were doing uh, financial services and how they were meeting the needs of communities. And I thought, wow, there's all these young people and we should continue to be connected beyond just this conference. When a group of us signaled that we were interested in that kind of work, uh, we were invited to be part of YCUP's first advisory committee in 2015. And that group was awesome to be part of and to learn from different folks um, across the globe and to look at different approaches that credit unions around the world were taking when they were engaging young people and inviting them to membership and, and building the movement there. Uh, we were also invited as part of that to present uh, some of our findings and ideas uh, in 2016 at the Ireland uh, Credit Union Conference. After that, things changed a little bit, but then now we have our YCUP Steering Committee, and I've been thrilled to be a part of it for the last couple of years um, as we continue to try to grow this movement and really solidify what the YCUP network is all about. Um, I think we are on the cusp of something really tremendous, which is why I want to kind of return to my image of a tree and a forest. You can grow to be a tall, strong tree on your own. You can be admired, you can provide wonderful things to people. But what we know both literally and in this metaphor is that the world doesn't need more trees, the world needs more forests. And I invite you to be part of this forest, to inspire each other, to be young trees and old trees, to be trees of all kinds, and to build this global movement that is what the world needs. The world needs cooperative finance um, to really support it for the long term. I wish you well. I celebrate with you the international movement. I celebrate with you 20 years of Y Cup. Here's to 20 more. The trees have grown since you planted those seeds back in 2013, Ben. And thanks to people like you and to all of our Y Cup alumni, the forest is getting bigger every year.
Congratulations to all the scholarship recipients and YCUP alumni over the years. You all inspire hope for a global community. As YCUP has grown in recent years, a dedicated group of volunteers has come together to provide strategic direction to the program and guide implementation of YCUP activities. Together, they form the YCUP Steering Committee and have dedicated countless hours to ensuring the continuity and momentum of our efforts to build a global community of young professionals. We wouldn't be where we are today without the support of all of them. Thank you all, you inspire me to work harder and to do more. Shortly after I began my career at WOKU back in 2004, I facilitated an immersion learning program in Ecuador for a multinational delegation of credit union executives. And it was there that I met Brandy Stankovic for the first time. And to this day, I clearly remember her passion for credit unions and her mission to ensure that we live true to the values of our cooperative roots. At one point during one of our meetings, she said that credit unions would cease to exist if we don't do a better job of celebrating our difference. It was a bit shocking for some of the people there to hear that, but it was true then and it's certainly true now. And since then, Brandy has been an unwavering advocate for the Y Cup program. And in recent years, she's taken on a leadership role on the steering committee providing strategic guidance and encouraging greater collaboration among young professionals. Brandy, thank you for sharing your passion with credit unions around the world and for putting your heart into YCUP. Brandy has her own story to share about her professional journey with YCUP, but before we go to her, my colleague Mike Reuter, Executive Director at the Worldwide Foundation for Credit Unions, has asked for a moment to share a few words of appreciation. Off to you, Mike. Brandy, when I think of you, I think of a strong credit union leader, uh, extremely passionate, always uh, want, seeing, seeking to connect people together, connect ideas, connect communities, um, and connect the world together through credit unions. And, and that's a core purpose of YCUP. We can't thank you enough at the, here at the Worldwide Foundation for everything you've done in chairing the YCUP Steering Committee, uh, helping it grow, seeing it grow, seeing it bring new young professionals around the world together through the World Credit Union Conference and through through a, a myriad of uh, really engaging virtual platforms uh, more in the short term. So thank you so much. Uh, we're continually grateful here at the Worldwide Foundation for everything that you've done to help us grow this great program. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dr. Brandy Stankovic and what you just witnessed was my very first presentation, my first involvement in the World Council in 2003 in Australia, and a moment that would end up being a turning point in my career and in my life. I was 23 years old. Shortly after that presentation, I witnessed the flags come down the aisle at the World Credit Union Conference opening ceremony and an impact that credit unions were having across the globe. And at the awards ceremony, I saw the young men and women on stage, and I thought, I can be amazing like them someday. And I knew from that point forward, I would do whatever it took to support the worldwide movement. But my journey was not always easy. Y Cup was restricted in the early years as I was a vendor, but a World Council board member and credit and CEO, Mr. Barry Gillette, put my name forward. And the Y Cup Scholarship, as you know, is the highest level of recognition for a young person, solidifying hard work and passion. And I applied for that scholarship, for our scholarship, twice. And I felt the pain of not quite being good enough, twice. And my organization has never paid for travel or registration. I've always had to self-fund. And over the years, there were many moments of defeat, as we all face. But being part of YCUP kept me connected to the greater purpose. Through YCUP, I met friends from all over the world. Some relationships fleeting and some will last forever. Through YCUP, I developed a thirst for volunteerism. 
I welcomed foreign nationals from the Russian Confederation. I even went to Mexico and worked with Caja Popular and Ecuador and Kenya, led the domestic project in Ventura, traveled for Y Cup and WCUC in over 12 countries, drove growth in global women, started sister societies, planned golf tournaments, spoke at sessions, conducted strategic planning for the Caribbean Confederation, and I even got to tell my story of young adult membership growth to the World Council Board. Through Y Cup, I learned to say yes at every opportunity and every moment, because this is where I belong. Y Cup came to a crossroads, a program that was once built on the scholarship and intended, of course, for the future sustainability of the international system. And the board rightfully was examining, has the program lived its life? And could it be built into something greater? And in 2017, after years of hard work and hundreds of emails, applying and asking and trying, I offered to lead a session, a strategy session for Y Cup to support future growth. And I received a maybe, if time allowed. Boom. <laughs> As it turned out, I only ended up having about 15 minutes to conduct that strategic planning session. And for those of you that were there, you remember how crazy it was. And following that session, Dr. Brian Branch gave me the opportunity to come to him with my thoughts. And I did more than that. I wrote a business plan. Thank you, Dr. Branch. And that business plan was built on three fundamental principles to generate revenue, create an infrastructure for growth, and to invigorate momentum. The program, of course, must be self-sustaining. And in the last three years, we've raised nearly $200,000 and the future is bright. With infrastructure, I sought to elevate the conversation, governance and leadership of volunteers at the executive level. Young professional doesn't have to mean front line. Young means the future. Finally, how do we bring life into a program? How do we generate excitement? Well, first you have to remove barriers, create a more inclusive program of all individuals, highlight the scholarship recipients, and also highlight the non-recipients, all attendees, supporters, and champions to ensure a legacy for alumni, people that go through the program and make it relevant, fun, and fresh by engaging in some global storytelling. And our results, of course, must be measurable. And through tracking of those results, we learned that 63% of Y Cup have received a promotion in the last five years. We also want to connect the world through Y Cup affiliates. What started as a 1 a.m. text to my friends has grown into a bridge between YPs and the globe at the association, employee, and member levels. And really, we wanted to build exposure of Y Cup through the website, the brand, curriculum, but also to build exposure for YPs. So everywhere I went, you went. Everything I do, I bring you with me. Our business plan, of course, and leadership needs to remain nimble. Even in the face of the global pandemic this year, with the help of all of you, our passionate volunteers, we're able to facilitate a global youth summit in the UK with ABCOOL. And we also hosted a virtual forum, which has been the most successful Y Cup event ever. <sighs> we built this program. Thank you to the steering committee. Thank you to those faithful pioneers. Thank you to those that answer my 1 a.m. texts and requests. You drive our momentum. When we talk about inspiring hope or creating a legacy for those that come behind us, I am forging a path. I'm creating equity. But this path will not be simple. Nothing will be put in your lap. You will not be spoon-fed or babysat. This isn't a kid's club. The world's young crane professionals are champions of the crane philosophy. And I'm tired of seeing young people, women, and marginalized groups be competitive with one another. Champion each other. I believe in you. And I believe in me. Some of you here today, we've grown up together. Sisters and brothers from across country borders that share the same love and values and passion. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to the World Council. Thank you to Dr. Brian Branch and the team, Paul, Tom. I have never been more passionate about a program in my life. And thank you to 23-year-old me. This moment is dedicated to you. 
The 23 year old whose mind was fearless and heart was expanding and whose life would soon be changed by Y cup. Here is a letter I wrote to my 23 year old self. Dear young executive with stars in your eyes. I know you're nervous and overwhelmed and in an oversized suit. And I know you memorized every line of that presentation so you'd make your family proud. But fight through the tears, build your grit because that presentation may be your first, but baby, it's not gonna be your last. Embrace those feelings of invincibility because you can and you will be and do anything. The world is ready for you. Live Y Cup. You will introduce yourself to industry leaders for 10 years before they remember your name. One day, they will know your name and they will seek your voice and guidance. Be Y Cup. Cherish the humans around you. Lean in. Over the course of your life, you won't get the chance to say goodbye to some of the people you love. So enjoy every moment. And invest in Y Cup. By doing so, you are investing in the future of this movement and you are investing in your future. Inspiring hope for a global community and forging a path for future generations. I love you. Brandy, thank you for the example you set for leadership and for keeping us on the path forward at Y Cup. And now, a few words from our Y Cup alumni. Hi, Global Leaders. Happy 20th, Y Cup. As one of the newest Y Cup recipients, I have been greatly inspired and fascinated in just a short period of time by a remarkable network of international leaders who drive and advance the credit union's mission through their passion of making a difference. I feel blessed to have been given this Y Cup platform as it opens additional doors for me to continue to empower people, help our communities, and connect with others across the globe. As a credit union professional, I strive to look for opportunities to make a valuable impact wherever I can with one small act of kindness at a time. Hello, Ycupers. For me, Ycup means diversity. Ycup enables young professionals to exchange best practices all over the world. Uh, we are here in Poland at NASCU headquarters. All the best for everybody. Bye. Hello guys, my name is Łukasz Nowak. I was honored to be the uh, winner of uh, this year Wake Up. It was a great surprise for me, but also a huge distinction for which I am very thankful. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get to know the people who create Wake Up in person so far. But now, basing on my experience in online contacts, I can certainly say that you are amazing. Your positive energy, passion, diversity, desire to change the world makes me proud to be the part of such a great project. I am sure I will learn a lot from you and I promise that I will do everything I can to support Wake Up program. I hope to see you soon, not only online. Thank you and I wish you a good day. Hello, my name is Nick Fugel and I am part of the Y Cup Steering Committee. Y Cup means so much to me and has allowed me to expand my global network, learn about new cultures and ways to serve members, and share my passion with an ever expanding group of friends. In my opinion, young professionals are at the very heart of positive changes, and their constant desire for better tomorrow inspires hope in all of us. As a global credit union movement, I know we will put that hope into action and affect positive change on an international scale. Hello, my White Cup friends and family. I'm Allison Carr, Chief Strategy Officer of Your Credit Union Partner. It has been an honor and a privilege to be a part of the Y Cup program and to serve on the Y Cup Steering Committee. And I can't believe we are here today celebrating 20 years of Y Cup. For me, Y Cup inspires leadership. 
I know I wouldn't be where I am today were it not for the Wake Up program. Wake Up inspires a sense of purpose and passion. And I know as a result of Wake Up, my purpose was more clearly defined and my passion for the credit union movement was ignited even beyond where it already was. Wake Up inspires a sense of community. And I know each and every one of us are inspired by the work of each other and the amazing network that we develop through this program that we can lean on both personally and professionally. So I think it's very fitting that this year's theme for International Credit Union today, International Credit Union Day, is inspiring hope for a global community. Because as young professionals, we are the ones to carry the torch forward. As young professionals, it is up for us to inspire the hope that we need and that our communities need to move forward. So thank you everyone for your commitment, for your support, and here's to 20 more years and more of White Cup. Thank you all for inspiring us through your passion for credit unions and for supporting YCUP throughout our journey. In recent years, we see momentum building and credit unions are increasingly recognizing the importance of investing in youth, both among employees and members. You are our future and credit unions will rely upon you to ensure their long-term sustainability. As YCUP has expanded beyond the scholarship program, we're solidifying our position as a global network of YP networks. YCUP has become a bridge that connects young professionals to the world and is enabling grassroots efforts to create and strengthen YP networks where they didn't previously exist. So in our next segment, we'll share several examples of YP networks that have come into existence in recent years, thanks in part to YCUP's effort to build a global community of young professionals. From the Rocky Mountains of the United States to Great Britain and from East Africa to Brazil, young professionals recognize the power of their credit unions to make positive change in their communities and are coming together to strengthen professional development opportunities for emerging leaders. Hi. I'm Tyler Valentine, CEO at Laramie Plains Federal Credit Union and chair of the Mountain West Young Credit Union Professionals Committee. Our committee was started in 2015 following the World Credit Union Conference. Several young professionals from our region attended the WCUC and from that decided we wanted that type of development content for young professionals in our region. Our committee started informally with support from the regional association. Uh, we came together decided on kind of a development track for the next annual meeting, which was coming up in the, the following spring, and put together content that we thought would be uh, beneficial for young professionals. Over the past five years, the committee has grown to encompass several different opportunities throughout the year. As the content for young professionals within our region grew under the committee, we knew we needed to focus our efforts. So we d created four pillars of development. They're government relations, professional development, principles and philosophies, and visibility and awareness. Under each of these principles, there's guiding directives under government relations, local, state, and national legislative and regulatory engagement is a priority. Under visibility and awareness, we created the Outstanding Young Credit Union Professional Award to highlight the efforts of young people in our region. Under professional development, we have our young professional track at the annual meeting and convention, as well as the LEAD Summit, which stands for Leadership, Engagement, Advocacy, and Development, which is a summit just for young professionals in our region. And under principles and philosophy, community service is at our heart and making sure the young people of our movement know the guiding principles upon which all credit unions are founded. 
The Mountain West YCUB Committee is also proud to be an affiliate of the World Young Credit Union Professionals. We've worked closely with the Association of British Credit Union Leagues over the past several years to make sure our, the young people in our region know and understand that there is a broader global credit union movement and how dissimilar we can be, but also how similar we can be across the globe. On behalf of the Mountain West Young Credit Union professionals, we want to say congratulations to World Y Cup on 20 years of leading the way in young professional development in credit unions around the world. I'm Paul Orgrove, Chair of the ABCOR Young Professionals Network here in the UK. Firstly, I'd like to thank the World Council of Credit Unions for giving us the opportunity to share our story with you and to give back to YCUP, a programme that has given us all so much in recent years. Just like YCUP, the ABCOR YPN has a core mission to develop, engage, inspire and to also retain young professional talent within the credit union movement. On behalf of everyone at ABCO, I just wanted to, to make a statement around the impact that the YPN, our Young Professionals Network, has made for our association in recent years. Uh, we had the plan to introduce this committee and this activity to support the development of our young people across our sector in GB, uh, and it's proven uh, hugely successful so far. So we're delighted with the start, we're delighted to give young people a chance to uh, show their worth within our, our sector and show that they're leaders of today and um, will continue to support that as we go forward. It's a huge priority for ABCO and for me personally and we look forward to uh, developing that in the, the months and years ahead. Young Professionals Network is a great opportunity to come together and I love YPN because it's an opportunity to meet other people. Because it's a great opportunity to meet new people and to network. I'm here today, I've had a great time and learned loads of stuff about the credit union. Hello, I'm Debbie Smith-Hans. I'm the Vice Chair of ABCO's Young Professional Network. I joined the steering committee to help provide greater opportunities for young people working in the credit union sector. The thing that I'm most proud of today is seeing our YPM members grow in confidence, step out of the comfort zone and take on new challenges. Hi, uh, my name is David Cairns and I'm a member of the ABCO YPM steering committee. And the reason I got involved with the committee was to try and help maximise the potential, uh, the great potential that's out there of the young people that work within the sector. And one of the things I'm most proud of with the committee is the YP week that we put together um, earlier this year. Hi, my name's Amy and I'm a member of the Young Professionals Network. I'm involved with the network as it's a great opportunity to meet other young professionals and that's something that I usually struggle with as I'm quite shy. One thing I'm proud of is our virtual YP event, which we held in June. We planned and executed this within a few weeks and it was really successful. Hi, I'm Lonnie Gilbrey, a current member of the ABCO Young Professionals Network. I'm involved with the network to make sure that young people within the sector have continued development opportunities. One thing I'm very proud of already is the support and appetite shown for our network by the whole UK sector. 
Hi, my name is Roxana. I'm part of the Young Professionals Network Committee because I'm passionate about helping other young professionals within the credit union movement. My proudest moment to date is working as a young ambassador for the Credit Union Foundation Board where I put forth the idea for a youth forum within the credit union movement. I'm incredibly proud of the work that the Young Professionals Network has achieved in such a short space of time. I would like to thank you all again for listening to our story here today and I hope that we're able to connect in this virtual world that we're now so accustomed to or next year when the World Council Credit Unions Conference hopefully is here in Glasgow. Good evening everyone. Thank you Thomas and the entire team for giving us the opportunity to be here today. I'm glad to highlight a few good stuff that has been going on in Africa since I got my World Cup Award in 2019 in the Bahamas. I wish to thank the leadership of Akoska for giving us the opportunity and support to launch the African Youth in Co-ops Network during the 20th Saka Congress in Mombasa, Kenya in October 2019. This network was formed with the aim to elevate the voice of the youth within the cooperatives in Africa and stir awareness amongst them on the need to join the credit unions, thus reducing the gap in financial inclusivity. To achieve our common goal, the African network is currently engaging with the youth all over Africa to coordinate the formation of networks in these countries. We are proud to say Malawi through Musco was the very first one to form the network and we are in the final stages of formation in the Gambia, Uganda and Tanzania before the year ends. Today we will give a few minutes to Andole of Musco to tell us about the Malawi Youth Network. Thank you. Hello young professionals, I am Andole Manganya a marketing and communications officer at Moscow and one of the champions of SAFO Young Professionals Network in Malawi. In short, Siphon, which has just been launched last month and we feel great about it. This network was launched specifically to fill a gap that we have in the world. We intend to address the following. To build awareness of financial cooperatives amongst the youth demographic, to stimulate a culture of volunteering, to encourage social responsibilities among the youths in Malawi, to provide social economic development opportunities for the youth in Malawi. Today, we are excited to join the young professionals in the world in celebrating the 20th anniversary of World Council Young Professionals Program, WIPA. On behalf of Saipan Malawi, I would like to congratulate all young professionals in the world for the great work that we're doing in encouraging the young professionals and youth in all sectors to join the credit union movement. Saibin is glad to be part of this family in Africa and the whole world. And let us unite and strengthen the young professionals across the continent. Once again, congratulations YCAM. And I wish all the young professionals a success as we engage, inspire and connect. Como associado e membro do Comitê Jovem da Cicred, vejo claramente o quanto a cooperativa tem apoiado o público jovem para fazer parte deste movimento. Além de se preocupar com a vida financeira dos jovens, a Cicred está buscando despertar a nossa liderança e o nosso protagonismo para assim garantir o futuro do nosso empreendimento. Atualmente, nós temos gestores na Cicred que são grandes exemplos de liderança 
E a importância de incentivar a participação dos jovens é que os futuros gestores continuem o bom trabalho que tem sido feito. Ter jovens engajados no movimento cooperativista com certeza é apostar em um futuro melhor para a nossa sociedade. E a Cicred tem feito isso de maneira muito assertiva, despertando em nós jovens essa característica de sermos líderes. Eu tenho muito orgulho em fazer parte da Cicred. O cooperativismo é um dos caminhos para transformar o mundo em um lugar mais humano. E para que isso aconteça, todos precisam ser envolvidos. Quando o Cicred apoia e desenvolve programas de diversidade e inclusão, permite que jovens e mulheres sejam agentes dessa transformação. Temos desenvolvido lideranças potentes e novos líderes de impacto. Somos inspiração pela nossa forma de conduzir as nossas ações, engajando a comunidade, dando voz a jovens e mulheres. A minha experiência com o projeto Mulheres que Cooperam, que me levou até o ICAP, não foi somente transformadora na minha vida, mas também tem servido de inspiração para outros jovens do Cicred. Essa rede precisa ser ampliada e tenho certeza que com os nossos esforços isso é possível. Acredito que não existam fronteiras e nem limites para quem quer fazer a diferença na vida das pessoas. E com iniciativas como essas que desenvolvemos, temos impactado pessoas ao redor do mundo. Assim, seguimos juntos por uma comunidade mais justa, inclusiva, próspera e humana. That's amazing. Thank you, Tyler, Paul, Maureen, Andale, Manicius, and Carla for bringing young professionals together in each of your regions and for inspiring all of us. So that brings us to the end of our storytelling celebration. But before we go, I want to take a moment to look ahead at the future of Y Cup. For the first time in our lifetimes, people everywhere around the world are facing the common challenge of the COVID-19 global pandemic. It affects all of us, and it's an experience we'll forever share, but we will overcome it together. And when we do, I see a golden opportunity for credit unions to redefine their relationship with young people by listening to their needs, by supporting their professional development, and by empowering them to lead our communities forward. This is our moment to shine at YCUP. As we saw at Mountain West and Abcul and Musco and Secreti, young professionals are becoming increasingly organized and but there are many jurisdictions that still lack formal networks. At the same time, YCUP has a tremendous opportunity to strengthen its relationship with the existing networks, to share diverse perspectives on common challenges we all face, to explore new opportunities for collaboration and professional development, and to redefine the relationship between credit unions and young people. I have a vision where YCUP is a truly global network of networks connecting young people around the world who recognize the power of the cooperative model, leveraging our shared resources and experience to empower the next generation of leaders, and creating a force for diversity, equity, and inclusion. We have incredible potential. A global speakers bureau of young people, international mentorships, networking beyond borders, The astronaut Ron Garan said, we are limited only by our imagination and our will to act. It's true. There is strength in numbers. 10,000 is a nice number, right? By working together over the next year, I believe we can grow to represent a global network of 10,000 connected young professionals. If that doesn't inspire hope for a global community, I don't know what will. Together we are strong, 10,000 strong, and I hope you will join us. So that concludes our program for today. Thank you everyone for joining this virtual celebration, but it really wouldn't be complete without a shout out to our champions who have provided the financial support to make YCUP possible. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you. As we sign off today, I hope this closing video collage will inspire you all to think about a time in the hopefully near future when we can travel again freely. The global pandemic has been a big bummer for those of us who love to explore the world. So I look forward to the day when we can connect in person again soon. Until then, enjoy these highlights from two recent YCUP immersion learning programs in Brazil. Happy anniversary YCUP. Stay safe, everyone. See you soon. Take care.